Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing part 50 of our Fusion Forms Mastery Series. Now, this series has had a lot of videos and has been going for several years. And we just sort of keep adding to it as topics come up or questions get asked. And recently, a lot of these Form Mastery videos have been gaining a lot of comments and questions about certain types of workflows. So in this video and the next couple of videos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down some common workflows and try to answer questions, things that we've covered in loads of other videos, but they don't really exist on their own. So in this video, we're specifically talking about setting the pivot point, and also we'll get into scaling our, our certain selections based on that pivot point. And the reason that we wanna capture or talk about moving the pivot point is because it's critical when we're form modeling to try to keep everything consistent. So we've got two examples on the screen here. We've got a sort of a cylinder that has the bottom position cut off. And then we've got this sort of side skirt beginning shape that we're gonna be talking about here. So let's first start with the wheel arch. So I'm gonna go into my bodies and we'll hide uh, body one and we'll focus just on the wheel arch. Now, what happens if we start a new cylinder and I'm just gonna make one over here and we begin to modify this. Let's go ahead and go to a right view. The pivot point is directly in the center. And what that means is if I hold down Alt or Control and Alt to expand this and sort of scale it out, it's going out radially in all directions based on that pivot point. The problem that we have is if we then remove some of those or we add some edges and we try to do the same thing, the pivot point is actually going to be in a different location. Let's try to get this to the middle of the screen here. The pivot point is in the center based on all of the things we have selected. So what this means is if we try to do that same task and hold down Alt and scale this outward, these sections up here are going to be shorter and these ones down here are not really going out in a radial direction. So we're gonna do Control Z to undo. So what we need to do is we need to set our pivot point and this is going to be a little tricky because we don't actually have a center point to snap to. But what we're going to do is snap here and then move it over to the center or roughly the center. When we're using direct modeling, like freeform modeling, we're not really being precise. But we can if we are using things like sketch references for that point. But this is going to be close enough for us. And then we can hold down Alt and scale it out. And now everything is going to be going out radially from that selected point. And that way we can keep things consistent, which is a big part of making sure that our freeform models are, are going to be good quality surfaces is trying to keep everything consistent. So when we look at that in smooth display, you can see that looks fairly consistent. Uh, and again, we could also start with a complete cylinder and we could then trim away portions of the cylinder that we don't need after the fact. But if you've already removed geometry and you're starting from scratch, then you may find yourself wanting to set that pivot point. Now let's go ahead and bring back this other example. This one here is probably more common. And this is when we want to kind of add geometry and we wanna make sure that the geometry is either linear or in line, or we want to make sure that we take an edge that is no longer in line and bring it down to a plane. Now, there are a couple of ways that we can do this, but in this video specifically, we're talking about pivot point. So the first thing that we're gonna do in this case is I'm gonna take this edge and I'm gonna hold down Alt and I'm gonna bring this down. So let's just pretend that we're making a side skirt or a sill for a car. What I wanna do is I want to take this edge down flat in the XY plane, and then I also wanna take it straight between this point and this point. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna reset our pivot. We're gonna start by setting our pivot point at this back corner, and then we'll hit okay. And then we're gonna scale down in the Z direction until this is zero. So we'll manually hit zero. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna rotate this around and we're gonna scale it in the X direction until that's zero. And now what we've done is we've pulled that out so that it's a straight line here and we've pulled it down so that it's straight in that plane. So if we go to our smooth display, we can see that it's creating a nice consistent shape. Now that might not be perfect. So what you may want to do is take this edge, now that it's a line, reset your pivot point to the back. And from our top view, 
we may want to rotate it based on that position. So it takes a couple of steps, but being able to reset that pivot point is key when we're trying to do things like scale and rotate a group of vertices. Now, there are other tools I did mention that we can use tools like flatten and smooth. And some of these tools will have a similar effect because they're averaging the point distances. So for example, if we select flatten, we have the option to go to a selected plane or parallel to a selected plane. So for example, if we do parallel to this plane and I begin selecting these points, it's gonna start pulling those points down to that plane. So when we look at it from the right, now that's gonna be a straight edge. If you have a reference plane and that's how you wanna work, that's a perfectly valid way to do it. Um, however, using the scale option is based on a reference vertice and that allows us to use these more complex shapes and then add that geometry later. So let's just do another example here. What I'm gonna do is extrude this, holding down Alt, just gonna kind of pull it up and back. And then I'm gonna just kind of make it a crazy angle here. And now if I wanna fix that, I can take this entire edge, reset my pivot point back here, and then scale this until it's zero. So that means they'll all be in line with each other. And once again, when we take a look at a smooth display of this, we've got a really nice consistent shape. We don't have any of these vertices way out of line uh, and, and causing a problem. So that's a good way that we can use things like resetting the pivot point to be able to add geometry or to go and get some consistent geometry out of something that's otherwise a little bit erratic on the screen. Remember that when you're working with forms, keeping the sizes of each of these faces relatively consistent to the ones that are next to it, as well as working on the angles between these faces and making sure that the angle transitions are going to be minimal wherever possible. That will mean that your curvature your, as it transitions will be nice and consistent. So hopefully that helps out. Remember that resetting that pivot point can be helpful for your edges as well as a selection of vertices. And that way you can use it to both scale and rotate or even move them to different positions inside of your environment. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.